So this diagram uh, is not the beginning of a lecture on the occult. It's a way of thinking about how new power communities fit together. And they essentially have three main actors. So the first at the top here is the platform owners or the platform stewards. The second is the super participants, those people who create a lot of the value. And the third is the participants, those people who engage. So let's go through this once with Uber as an example. So Uber, the platform owner of Uber is obviously Uber the company. They have ownership over the network. The super participants are their drivers, those people who drive for them and create the value. And the participants are the riders. Or think about Airbnb, the platform owner is Airbnb. The super participants are their hosts and their participants are their guests. And this is a way of thinking about how you balance different interests in a new power world because you don't just have this triangle of the people who you transact with, you also have this wider circle of the society at large. So around the circle you'll find things like your competitors, government officials, media, influencers. And one of the great skills for leaders and organizations in the new power world is making sure you have the right balance inside your triangle and around the outside world. So in this respect, let's look at the difference between Airbnb and Uber. So Uber has fallen out with just about everybody. They've fallen out with their drivers, they've fallen out with their riders, they fell out with their media, they fell out with the competitors, because they didn't create good cohesion inside their triangle and in their wider outside world. Differently, Airbnb have actually worked very hard to create a stronger communal relationship with their super participants. They're encouraging their super participants, their hosts, to actually get together in groups around the world and form local bonds and stronger alliances. And they're trying to, through the reputation management systems they have, create a stronger relationship with their guests. Now, this isn't to say they haven't got regulatory challenges around the world. They have just as many regulatory challenges as Uber does. But what's different with Airbnb is when they're looking to take on some of these challenges, they can actually raise a crowd up in their favor. There was some Californian legislation recently which had come up, which was actually going to damage the business of Airbnb. And Airbnb were managed to mobilize their guests and their hosts and get hundreds of thousands of doors knocked on and get that legislation pushed back. So as you think about the dynamics of how these big new power platforms work, think about who are the platform owners, who are the super participants, who are the participants, who are the wider forces around the world who, in, who affect that whole ecosystem, and how does all that fit together? Because those people who balance this the best are those people who are going to keep winning.